This really is a beautiful view. But anyways, welcome back to the farm. We are currently in September, but we are going to skip to the next month because that is when the soybeans are ready. They are unfortunately at this point in time not ready for harvest. Now in the last episode we completed a huge contract, so now we have $53,000 in total. Which is absolutely amazing. If we go into the map here, this means that we will be able to afford this field right here. But I'm not going to buy it yet, because I want to buy it when it has a crop in it. And currently it does not, well, have a crop in it. So I will be keeping an eye on that, but before we skip to the next month, I want to check a few things. One of you suggested in the comments of the last episode that the reason why I might have been getting money in the last episode during the day is because maybe one of these greenhouses has been set to selling. And now that I look, of the, look at it, this does have three pallets and this has four. I don't know. Let's take a quick look here to make sure nothing is selling. So this has been set to storing. And yeah, this has been set to storing as well. And these are all disabled. So it doesn't look like that that is the case. Very good suggestion though. Um, but with that said, I then really don't know what it is. I guess it, it can only be the subsidy sign that we have going on. I don't quite know. But, uh, oh yeah. Thanks to the contract in the last episode, we now have 10. Wait, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 12. I apparently can't count. 12 of our own silage bale. Of course, together with the three other silage bales that we have. So when the price is good for silage, we're actually going to make quite a bit of decent money. Speaking of money, we are actually going to be spending some money today. First, let's check out the used machinery sale. Uh, ooh, I believe this is a planter. Yes. Well, hmm. Very cool stuff, but none of it that we really need. But if we go into construction here and go to farmhouses. Now, so far I've been using a mod called Sleep Anywhere, so I could just sleep to the next day because we currently don't have a house. But as we are playing this a little bit somewhat realistically, um, <laughs> not having a house here, well, doesn't seem very, well, realistic. So I've installed this mod here, which adds a bunch of stuff like tents. Which is really cool. Like, that's a really cool tent right there. But it also adds this. A log cabin. And honestly, this looks really, really cool. There's a playground right there. So we could place the house right here, which I think I am actually going to do. It looks really cool. It's $10,000. But this honestly looks very cozy. And until we can afford something like this... I think this is a great option. We also do have this this thing right here for 20,000, but I feel like that's too much to spend. I I like simplicity and this thing right here, well, it couldn't get any more simple than this. So, I'm going to plop it down. Well, I think right here. I'm just going to go ahead and do it. Eh. $10,000 spent on a brand new house. That we can actually enter as well. So right here we can go to bed. We can change our outfit right here. We even have a shower. Or, well, a bathtub. Wait a minute, where's the toilet? <laughs> okay, I guess I don't have those needs. Yeah, we have a fridge, we have a sink. Okay, I thought that was a phone for a minute. But yeah, this is honestly really, really cool looking. So, we now have a house. And with that, I think we're actually going to go to bed. Now, we're going to be very busy in the next month, so we want to get up as early as possible. Let's take a look here. I haven't changed my outfit for quite a while. Maybe maybe it's time that I change. The issue is, I walk around with a hoodie, like, through summer and winter. I literally do not care. But as it is getting warmer, well, I guess we're in September, so I guess it's getting colder. Hmm... Hmm. Well, as it's getting colder, I kind of have a jacket, jacket like this. So, you know what? Let's do that. My cat literally just jumped up onto my table. I can't see. 
<laughs> All right, let's uh, let's change uh, let's change the, the our pads here to something else. Maybe these. Yep, I think I like that. And let's change the shoes as well. This is this has, this is not important at all, but it it's just some something fun to do, right? Uh, yeah, green kind of goes with this, and confirm. There we go. Nice. All right, let us head to bed, and we want to wake up as early as possible, but also while still having some daylight. I'm gonna go with 6 a.m. All right, see you in the morning. Ugh. Good morning, everybody. We are now in October. Yeah, it's a, it's still a bit dark. I, uh, you know what? I'm gonna get I'm gonna get some breakfast. Wait, can I turn on the lights? Oh, those lights are so cool. Right, I'm gonna you know what? I'm gonna cook up some breakfast, uh, scramble some eggs, and I'll be right back with you when there's a little bit more sunlight. So uh, yeah, give me a minute. Look at that beautiful sunrise. It's fire in the horizon. All right, that breakfast was indeed delicious. I was watching uh, this guy called Binary Vigilante on YouTube. He uh, he makes some really cool Minecraft videos. You should definitely check those out. Link down below in the description. Uh, shout out to that guy. But <laughs> anyways, we now have enough daylight to spend. So hopefully this field is now ready. Ooh, what has been put in? Barley. Yeah, that's not a bad crop. That's definitely not a bad crop. And yes, it is ready for harvest. Right, so, unfortunately, we are hitting the same time uh, where soybeans are ready for harvest, but also oilseed radish is at its final call, basically, in order to get it into the ground. So, this is already cultivated up. We need to cultivate that field right there. So, I'm going to jump into this tractor. We're not going to attach the weeder. Um, I'm going to attach the trailer and I'm gonna move it over to the other field and then I'm gonna set a worker to work in this field uh, basically seeding it with oilseed radish and then I can basically have a other field while the worker does that I think that is going to be a good use of our money and resources and I should probably in the future put the trailer in here under cover I think that is probably a wise thing to do. Ooh, we have a lot of lettuce here. Yep. A good amount of lettuce. I will I'm excited for when we actually get to uh to sell that. But oh yeah. Yep. Soybeans are ready. I don't think I'm gonna move this. I think I'm gonna put this on the track on the other side actually. So this would be the, the field that we would buy. It's not quite ready to harvest. We're not really in a rush. <laughs> I just want to be able to harvest that field. Um, so we get a little bit of the money back, but yeah. Alright, I'm gonna put the trailer right here. This should be good. If I go up and down, yep. I'm gonna put it right there. And then I'm gonna take on, well, the cedar. I do want to actually check out a few things in the shop before we continue. One is the uh, used machinery. Oh. Ooh, that's... Hmm. This is a really good sale. If we were doing... Wait, what? what is this? This machine collects materials from the ground. Huh. Interesting. This is a very interesting deal. Now, obviously, it does not have a whole lot of horsepower, but it can be used to, like move things like trailers and what and whatnot we would be able to transport basically our produce with this thing potentially uh, I'm gonna think about it I'm gonna think about it what I do want to check out though are the cedars if I can find it right here boom so this is the cedar that we have the it which is three meters this is also three meters oof i was hoping to get a wider working width this would probably be like a our next upgrade to be fair or something like this but that is wait hold on no wait a minute this is four meters wide yeah this is almost twenty thousand more for an extra meter yeah i don't think that is going to be worth it let's uh Let's move on, but that, that, hmm, 
that vehicle is extremely tempting <laughs> because that that could be useful but I think I want to save the money for another tractor because that is really what we need if we could get another tractor like this one well we wouldn't only be able to drive in it we would also be able to use it while using this tractor so yeah I don't I don't think I'm gonna buy that despite how tempting it is it would be able to tow like the the water tanker and things like that for us that is why it's quite tempting but I think I'm gonna have to pass All right let's attach it okay we are 43% full we do have even more seats over here so I will fill it up nice and we're gonna set it to oh it was right there oil seed radish this is gonna be so good we're gonna get double we're gonna get 100 percent fertilization on this field after this which is really going to improve our next crop i don't actually know what our next crop should be though i haven't quite decided yet i should probably be a little bit more straightforward here and Put it on a worker. Beautiful. Alright, while it does that, we really need a pressure washer soon as well. <laughs> right. And the minerals are working now. I upped the in game graphics. So that's cool. Now, again, that field still needs cultivating, but we should be good. Nice. Will I be able to fit here? That's the question. Yes, I can indeed. All right. I think I'm going to start at the top of the field here. I don't know how quickly this combine is going to get full. I'm going to turn on the working lights here. I can't see a thing. <laughs> there we go. All right. Let's turn it on. Uh... Naval straw swath. Nope, I want it chopped. I don't even think there's going to be left any straw behind here, but if there is, I do want it chopped. And we are harvesting. Nice. Oh, it is. Okay. So we are going to get 100% fertilization on this field as well. That's really cool. That's really cool, actually. And that is the first up and down done. Well, up done. <laughs> nice. I will be doing the headland here because otherwise I will be able to turn around as easily. But yeah, this is exciting. We are harvesting our soybeans and by the looks of things we're actually going to get a full combine. Well, maybe once or twice. That's exciting. All right. I'm gonna harvest this field and I will be right back either when the worker is finished in the other field or when we're finished here. So enjoy the time lapse. Let's go. Alright, almost full. I actually thought we would get more than this. I thought at the rate we were housing right at the beginning we would maybe get two loads or something like that, but this is still good. What we gotta remember is these fields have only had stage one of fertilization because of the uh, oilseed radish. 
while next year, or well, the next thing we have is we'll have full because I'm chopping the straw and putting the oil seed radish in. Well, that is if we can make it in this month to do all the fields. But yeah, that is the plan. Anyway, we did actually also mulch this field. Because if you remember, there was corn in it before. So we did mulch it, which should add a 2.5% extra yield. Would be nice if it came with a warning instead of just keep driving. Okay. We're full. <laughs> and I'm actually not going to use the trailer. I'm just going to go ahead and, well, put it into our silo. Because the price will not be ready uh, well, will not be at its best, so we're just gonna put it right into the silo. I don't know how far the workers. There we go. Put it into our storage. Yeah, let's uh, let's take a look at how far the worker has come. Okay, so it's almost done. Then I can put it to work over here while I do something else. If there's something else I can do. Nice. I will check the double check the price real quick. Uh, soybeans. Yep. <laughs> At its lowest selling point is in June, and our oats. Yep, that would be in January. And lettuce, just for the curiosity. Also January. So January we will be selling a bunch of stuff. What about silage? Also January. So, yeah, January seems to be the best month for selling most of our produce. But honestly, that isn't that far away. We are in October currently, but after we put in the oilseed radish and after we cultivate that into the ground, there won't be a whole lot for us to do during the winter. So we might skip, well, a few months actually. <laughs> we don't have farm animals or anything, which is something I am considering, but it is something that also requires quite a bit of money to maintain. Even chickens, because they need, well, food. And, well, currently I'm selling all my produce in order to try and get more money, so yeah, not the best combination. Then again, eggs are very valuable. Alright, it is done with the task. I will just finish harvesting this. We don't need to use any worker money on cultivating a single row. So I will just finish this up. And then I will... I guess I'll do the small field and then I'll do this field. I don't know how much we're gonna get done this episode. I just know even if we don't get everything done... In this episode, we will remain in this month until everything is done. I will not, however, go under times five. Which is why I wanted to get started so early in the morning. Alright. Final piece, and we're done. And... Finished. Very cool. Now, what I quickly want to check is this field. It looks like it has stage one fertilization, so we take it like this way. Uh, there we go. Remove the weeds. No, it does not. This field does not have any fertilization. That's interesting. They have not used the oil seed radish method. Maybe they have manure or something. All right. 550 liters to the silo, and then we can put this in the shed. I should really consider investing in a power washer. Am I really not close enough? Wow, I guess I'm not. <laughs> there we go. Perfect. Right. Let's put this away. I should be able to fit in here, no issue. Yep. Nice. Cool. Alright, where is my tractor? Of course, it's all the way at the other side. Why not? And it's only used 12% of the seeds. That's not bad, actually, at all. Nice. 
All right. Let's put the cedar down. Equip the cultivator now that I think about it. Since I'm not going to buy the neighboring field just yet, maybe upgrading the cultivator is a good call. Because it is one of the equipment that we use the most. Because we cultivate oilseed radish in and all that stuff. Let's take a quick look at the shop just because I'm curious. Not to mention there are things like power horrors that might be more interesting for us to use. I'll take a look, give me a second. All right, so I looked through a bunch of the stuff. We have power harrows, we have disc harrows, and then we have cultivators and shallow cultivators. Shallow, shallow cultivators, they're expensive. We unfortunately can't afford that. Um, but this would be a step up. This is ours, we would be able to get 9,800 for it. If we take it to the dealership, maybe 10,000 plus. And then we would be able to afford this, which is four meter wider. And what is our tractor capabilities? 125 horsepower, so we can barely even drag this along. <laughs> uh, we need we needed a little bit more powerful tractor, and well, I'm sure the tractor would be able to handle it. But because of our money, I would like to maybe catch something like that in the used sale. That would be cool, but it would also be cool to get an extra meter on this thing. Uh, but is, that, is getting an extra meter worth 10,000? That's the question. I don't think it is, because we can use 10,000 on, well, other important stuff. Hmm. Yeah. All right. Well, oh, wait, wrong buttons. I suppose we shall get started then. We should be able to do this. Now see, if we had another tractor, when I'm halfway, I could set another worker to work in the same field, seeding the oilseed radish while I complete the uh while I complete the cultivating. Looks like we missed a bit. Oh well. <laughs> It'll be such a tiny amount. Well, that's one pass. Twenty-five more passes or so to go. <laughs> I'll see you in a bit. I have a very quick question. Why does it always end up like this? <laughs> Where you have the tiniest piece left to do. But it's like you still gotta do it. Why? <laughs> I feel like it's in. it happens in every field. Why, why does this happen? So, someone please tell me. Because uh, <laughs> it's annoying. But anyways, this field has now been cultivated, and I really butchered this turning around part right here, but oh well. 
There we go. Nice. So yeah, this bit right here, I'm gonna get the missed pieces right there, and honestly, that didn't take too long. Definitely not worth spending 10,000 extra getting just one extra meter on this thing. That would... I'm seriously missing. Okay, right. Just for the record, that sign definitely fell on its own while I was combining. It just... it just fell over. I definitely didn't hit it. That was... I don't know what you're talking about. That's... That was definitely not me. I, I don't know how you could even accuse me of such a thing. It's... That's just ridiculous. And... Finished. Nice. That... Is this field done? And I definitely didn't just drive over it yet again. I don't know what you... I, I don't know what you're talking about. I just, I, yeah. I, I don't. No. Not at all. Now, while I do have the cultivator equipped, I will just quickly do this field. Which, as I've said numerous times, is a pain. But I'm gonna do it anyway, because... A field's a field, and, uh, well, I need every little bit of produce that I can get here. So, yeah, I'll be right back after doing this. I'm not even gonna time-lapse it. Alright, it's a bit later. I've cultivated and I've also now seeded this whole field. I just thought I would do it because it's a small field, it's annoying to do, and the time-lapse would just be, well, me going up and down, up and down, up and down constantly. Not much to it. So if we take a look now, of course, after it has saved. Oh dear, hello. <laughs> if we go back, yep, oilseed radish, right there. All right, perfect. Um, I actually didn't check. Do we? Does the seed? Does the seed? Does the fields need anything? Uh, I mean, we don't have weeds yet, so that's something. If we. Needs rolling. Right. Rolling, I think, is something that we will do next time when we put in... Well, when I say next time, when we put our next crop in, like our next, like, harvestable crop, we will roll it because it will add, I believe, like 2.5% extra yield. But other than that, I don't think we need, like, any... to do any liming or anything like that. At least not yet. So that's cool. All right. Next is, well, this field right here. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it, 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 it's big. It, it's big for the small cedar. Speaking of cedar, actually, that is something I wanted to check out as well. I, it, did I just look at cedars, or am I, like, losing it? Hold on. Uh, considering I don't know where the cedars are, I don't think I've looked at these yet. Never mind, I did. My bad. <laughs> I just forgot. Okay, well, I'm gonna do this field. We gotta move that trailer and we will be done for the day. And we actually got a lot of stuff done in a relatively short amount of time. I didn't think we would actually make it. Okay, well, I'm gonna get to work. I'll see you afterwards.
All right, oil seed radish has now successfully been put in all of our fields and our soybeans has been harvested. Really, really good progress. Nice. One thing I am noticing, however, is that this tractor actually does have some horsepower issues even pulling this store sort of equipment, mainly up there, because it goes up quite steep over there. And the tractor is struggling a little bit with the cultivator and cedar. Now we are able to upgrade the engine, but I don't know if that will be worth it or not. Something to think about. But not today, the seeding is done. I am, how much of the seed have we actually used? Not much. I will fill it up so it's ready for next time. Might as well. Oh. Did I move? There we go. I moved. <laughs> I am going to put the cedar probably under there. Actually, I'll stick it. No, I will be needing the cultivator before I'll need the cedar. I'll put it in here. Next equipment we will need will be the cultivator because of the oil seed radish. We probably won't need to take care of any weeds. So, yeah, cultivator. It is. Let me get the trailer, put it over here in the yard, and we will be done for the day. Oh, look, deer. Hello. How's it going? Oh, deer. Even more deer. <laughs> I should really stop with that joke. That's... Uh, the pro it's not even good. You know what? I'm not even gonna apologize for it. <laughs> and... Boom. Perfect. I do want to check out one final thing, though. And that is potentially putting in a hedge by the road. And I don't know... Hmm... I don't know how expensive it's going to be, and I stopped talking for a second because I noticed the maintenance on this tractor and the fuel is quite low. I think it is deteriorating this much because this tractor is new. Or not new, sorry, used. If we got something new, I don't think it would go down in... I want to say durability, but this isn't really Minecraft. Um, go down in maintenance faster because it's used. At least I think that is what's going on. Not 100% sure if that's how it works, but it would make sense. Which might be why it was struggling with the cultivator and the cedar. Could be. That's way off. That's better. Ish. Almost. Good enough. And we can even close up the barn. Nice. Alright, let me... Actually, I'm just gonna... Eh, the tractor should really be put under cover, shouldn't it? Let's do it properly. It keeps tempting me with used tractors. <laughs> we could probably afford this if we sold our current tractor. It would be a horsepower upgrade. How much is our tractor worth? Not much. Probably 15,000 15, if we were to sell it in by the by the shop. So yeah, let's not uh, let's not do that construction. And I think we need to go into decoration fences. Well, I'm assuming it goes on like yep, fence. Right. This seems expensive to do this whole thing. Oh yeah, that that's definitely going to be <laughs> that's going to be quite expensive to do. So, I think I will probably do it eventually, this media match right here. But uh, yeah, I think that's going to be a waste of money, in quotes, for us at the moment. So, guys, we finished, well, by 3pm. That's, that's actually pretty good. So, 
really hope you have enjoyed this episode. And I hope to see you in the next one. I just want to make sure. Yep. Look at that. Oil seed radish. Perfect. So like I said, hope you enjoyed this episode. And I hope to see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day and goodbye.